Hi guys, Mr. Alain of Loz here, Aaron Freddy Fredericks, and today, doing a slightly different kind of product review, we are testing these Alien Pros Overgrips. So, you would know if you've been playing for a little while that sometimes your grips can lose their tackiness and they can just be, well, rubbish. And recently I was playing up in the central coast of New South Wales and discovered it was pouring and how slippery my clubs were. Even though my drive is reasonably new, it became really, really slippery. So that made me really interested in these overgrips because apparently when it gets wet, they even get grippier. Also, they're softer on your hands and easy to apply. Only thing which I think is interesting is you can see that when you put the overgrips on compared to a club without overgrips, it does, well, because it's over the grip, essentially come a little bit thicker. So how would that affect my playing? Well, I don't know. So today I've devised a plan. I'm gonna hit 10 shots with my seven iron, 10 shots with an overgrip on the seven iron, and the same again on my driver. So I've been putting it on my uh, 58 degree wedge, and honestly, I haven't really noticed a huge difference, but Bryson DeChambeau does play with bigger grips and bigger, yeah, just bigger grips. <laughs> so we're gonna see what they do to my game. Now these are easy to put on. As you can see, essentially you just unroll them, you wrap them over your grips, They've got a little sticker inside which you put around the bottom of your club and a little bit of trimming if your grip's not too long or too short or whatever, you know, blah, blah. it's quite easy. Um, and I found even when I did make a little bit of crease in the first one I ever did, I could actually push it back and get it to go quite right. So anyway, it's more importantly though, how do they play? So let me set up and let's see how they go. All right, so what I'm gonna do I've changed to five each, because ten's a lot. <laughs> um, I've got coloured balls or colourful stripe balls for the ones without the grip. And then I'll overgrip it, and then I'll hit some plain whiteies. No grip, well, normal grip, seven iron. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're gonna regrip them, see how they go. I didn't love them. I'm interested to see if they reduce how much hands you put into the play, like how much hands you can use in your stroke. Might be nothing, but let's see. That's not very difficult. When I first did it, I did them too close together, the weave, I guess. Uh, so I had to sort of lengthen it out. Obviously, the closer you do it together, the thicker it's gonna be. So, five with the grip. Interesting. Does it make a real difference? Well, I don't think it makes a difference to the grip of the club. It's definitely a little tackier, and apparently water makes it even more tacky. The big problem I had playing in the rain was when I played with my driver because I nearly threw my club out into the dam. So, well, the lake. Dunno! 
think my hand could still get around. I wonder if you wanted to keep... Mm. It's definitely different, but I don't know if I like it or I don't. <laughs> Alright, same again with the driver. Because this is a club I nearly lost. Let's try it. Rip it and rip it, I guess. consistent high drive I've ever hit in my life. I, I like that you can quite individualize the clubs and I also like that you've got the confidence that it is a bit grippier especially in the glove it just sticks in there that bit more. So I don't know if it actually affects your golf it certainly did help me not slice it as bad. Um, and I, you know, when you're putting, you try and get a thicker putting grip to get rid of your hands. And I just wondered if they have the same effect. Maybe a little bit, but I don't think I've got enough evidence to prove yes or no. I think I will play with them and leave them on for a little while and see how I go. Go to the website, Alien Pros, um, Overgrips. Definitely worth a shot. I can't 100% say they're going to be better for your golf game or worse but if you find you're really handsy and you keep trying to wobble your hands around this may help you just get a little bit of that out and when you're driving that could be the thing between a good drive and a bad drive so would I recommend them? I'm not brave enough <laughs> but do I think they're bad? Definitely not. If your clubs are real slippery and crap, give them a go before you try and totally re-grip your club. Because you might find, look, they're cheap and you can get like about eight or ten different styles. So that's worth a shot. Anyway, I'm going to do some more driving and see how I go. I'm reasonably happy. Anyway, this has been Mr. Relatable Oz, guys. Aaron Freddy Fredericks. You guys have a fantastic week, and I hope to see you again. Like, subscribe, recommend me to your friends. Anyway, guys, cheers, and catch you later.